Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well today. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here on this channel for you. If you are returning, hey so family, what's going on? I hope that you are well. I hope that you are planting your feet out in the grass. If you get the opportunity, hugging a tree, or just connecting with your plants. Um, green is significant right now, heart chakra energy. So be sure that you are staying grounded and staying connected in nature. Let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you're feeling at this time. With every exhale, visualize everything that is no longer serving you, leaving your body, mind, and spirit. Ashe. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, spirit guides, and divine ancestors, only of the highest white light, Please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most High God, please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, Please protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that's not of the highest white light. And encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective. Ascended Masters, we ask for your presence at this time. Please connect with me and help me to reveal anything that needs to be known at this time. Peace and blessings, Ashe. All right. So the download I got and what I was guided to get on now and do this is the parent trap energy okay there's something about a trap that was set by parents or someone wanted to trap you into parenthood um, someone wanting to trap you with a pregnancy or uh, wanting you to trap them with the pregnancy or again parents that wanted to keep someone trapped in some type of way that's the energy I'm picking up on so let's go ahead and see what this is. Okay, they're saying there's one here. Okay, we have trusting your intuition and proceeding softly. So I feel like this is your energy, whatever I'm picking up on today. You may have started to see some signs about either your parents or someone you're connected to that made you want to remove yourself from a situation slowly, softly. Let's get into it. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Angels. What do we need to know today concerning the parent trap? We have standing firm. This is not a good energy. We have renewing your life. And we have cultivating prosperity, okay? So it looks like here someone is moving away with this box here, moving out and cultivating prosperity. This looks like a new land, new ground, a new life for someone. After being with someone, this is giving me narcissistic energy here. Um, my disclaimer I am not a mental health professional. I am not a doctor, a lawyer, a financial advisor, um, or anything related. So please do seek professionals in those areas if you require assistance. Also, this is a general energy reading for the collective, so it won't apply to everyone. Just take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. This isn't a personal reading, okay? With breaking barriers here, I feel strongly that th these two 
this is whoever this person is that wanted to trap someone they did a lot okay standing firm is giving me the energy of the seven of wands uh, blocking someone okay by trapping them in some type of way and now trying to break, break barriers to keep you in this entrapment energy that's showing me the eight of swords let's see what else we got here hold on okay okay we have rebuke the devil in the reverse this is this energy this is this narcissistic energy standing firm really diligent in their action to keep you trapped whoever I'm picking up on okay this is in the reverse so I feel as though there is some type of energetic battle going on look at this someone is trying to get into your dream state this person is very active wanting to keep you trapped okay soul tribe coming okay I feel like you are now in this new life renewing your life cultivating prosperity you're surrounded by soul family people that you are in alignment with people that you can trust you're also surrounded by your spirit guides that are guiding you and protecting you from this energy or trying to I'm hearing so because someone here is still in this entrapment energy and others of you have just recently removed yourself or been removed Holy Spirit okay we have student of life for life this is a heavy energy this is this person this person has lifetime after lifetime been in this devil energy this is an agent whoever this person is this person is constantly being shown lessons but it's like this person just keeps coming back and repeating the same cycles doing these things over and over again continuously receiving karma it says you are so much more powerful than you realize in the reverse this person is a narc energy they feel like they're more powerful they try to assert themselves in a powerful way but they're not powerful they're being deceived by the devil what else Holy Spirit we have abundance in the reverse prosperity okay I feel like this is this person's energy I feel like this person is trying to attach themselves to you to attach themselves to your prosperity that you are cultivating. This is your abundance that is inaccessible to this person. Bottom of the deck, you are a healer or a light worker, whoever I'm picking up on today. Can we start over again? <laughs> it flipped over into the reverse. Can we start over again? I want another chance. This could be either your parents or this person. Okay. Someone, I'm picking up someone here is pregnant at this time. Someone could be pregnant at this time with a child by someone that wanted to trap them. Others of you already have children by this person that wanted to trap you. And some of you, this person is plotting to have children with you or for you to get them pregnant, whether it's a masculine or a feminine energy. Okay, peaceful resolution in the reverse. You are realizing, your guys are letting you know this is not going to end well. Okay, this situation is not going to end well if you don't remove yourself or take the cues that you're being sent to remove yourself from this energy. You are protected. I just heard that now because someone got nervous. Okay, oh my, look at this. Move your body. I just finished saying it won't end well if you don't okay so your guys are wanting to reiterate that we have your sisters and brothers are not who they think you think they are don't trust them okay so this could be a part of this parent trap energy your immediate family they could all be involved in this situation <clears throat> Uh, 
I am not good enough for you in the reverse. Okay, these people know that they are Asians. They know they have dark intentions, but they want you to believe that they are doing right by you, that they are good enough to be in your presence and your energy, that they're good for you. It's in the reverse. Okay, these people are not good for you. For some of you, okay. Whoever this message is for, again, peaceful resolution at the bottom of the deck. They're guiding me to a few of these. Character in the bottom of the deck. Okay. There's something about, we saw trust your intuition. There's something about somebody's character that was dark that someone here has seen. Something you saw, they're guiding me to this one. Let you know somebody here right now is on the verge of an exit strategy. Somebody here is working on it and your guys are saying yes. You, there's a feminine here that is being guided to move away. Okay. We have here my yacht is in the building. Okay. I feel as though your guides are about to bring in with my yacht showing up justice. Okay. Yeah. You have energies out of this world that are backing you, helping you guiding you somebody here has a very powerful i'm seeing the high priestess somebody here has a very powerful intuition okay we went right back to feminine okay so there's a very powerful high priestess energy here that has gotten the memo okay about karmic activity okay this is in the reverse because they try to conceal this okay sacrifice in the reverse they tried to conceal this but whoever i'm picking up on you saw this look you smelled the roses you smelled what was going on and you pack, pack your bags or you are in the process of doing that something is flipped over here yeah with unspoken words you're moving with that proceeding softly you're moving at the right pace as being guided by your spirit team and that's beautiful Okay. There is a group I'm hearing of people that are coming together. Family. Okay. There is a family that's meeting up to discuss this exit strategy. Okay. I have psychopath here. Okay, someone in this group could be some type of psychopath. <sighs> Archangel Michael, please protect our energy from any of these dark energies or entities. We blind and block any negative energy, any ill intention being sent our way. And so it is. I say. What's the message, Holy Spirit? They say go slow. All that glitters is not gold. Okay, this is again, whoever you are, this very keen high priestess energy. I'm picking up on very, they're showing me the high priestess to the queen of swords. Sharp, smart, stay in that energy. You, you, you got the memo. Whoever I'm picking up on, you know exactly what's going on and you're being guided. Somebody has a keen intuition and ear to hear the divine okay move accordingly they're saying and you're doing that okay keep listening wherever you are you are a chosen one you've been praying and staying connected you are a leader and look at this saying a prayer. I'm telling you, whoever you are, you are tapped in, tapped in. Okay, you're some type of spiritual leader. Okay, they told me to put the pray together. And leader. Okay, that's negative energy coming through. All right, let's clarify. Okay. There's your abundance, Ten of Pentacles, that this person is trying to 
access this cultivating prosperity whatever you're working on right now is going to bring about abundance if you guys have been watching the readings on this channel and i'm sure on other channels as well there is an energy of harvest an energy of abundance um, coming through right now in this season and we are about to start seeing this in our physical reality. I feel as though some of you are already seeing this in many forms, not only in a monetary form, but in love and resources and knowledge that your guides are giving you in order to produce a lot of wealth. Okay, so this is beautiful. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank the most high. Okay, they're guiding me to clarify the parent trap energy before we clarify the cards. <clears throat> okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. They're saying this is the parent trap energy. Who you thought they were was not who they were. The wheel is here. We saw my yacht. Karma is here. I'm seeing the devil card in my third eye. Holy Spirit, what is the parent trap energy? All that glitters is not gold. What is this energy? Okay. <clears throat> this is originally how these people wanted you. This is giving me the energy of childhood home energy with stability, security with the queen of pentacles. Higher, the Hierophant showing up as somebody that was a leader, a guide, um, a parent, okay, for some. Um, someone that was supposed to be wise and someone that you looked up to, okay. This is not who these people are and were. Again, this could be the Hierophant in the form of a commitment of someone that you were with that in a home that you thought you had a stable relation with, relationship with initially, and you realize that all that glitters was not gold. This temporarily could have had you in this position of feeling dissatisfied and in this discontent energy, okay? With the magician here, there was some type of manipulation going on a lot, and some of this is definitely spell work that was going on. But you were being, yeah, there there it is, a lot of spell work coming in. You were guided and protected from these energies. Yeah, five of swords, a lot of co competition and uh, a lot of fighting energetically, okay? What is student of life for life? This person that's going to keep repeating cycles. What is this energy? The chariot. This is giving me the energy of law officials. Someone have, having to um, receive this lesson. Some type of legal action is being taken against this person. Someone here was taken out of the childhood home because of some things that took place. The divine sent you to another family. That's for someone with the chariot. You were moved away from this energy. Child services could be involved. Okay. Yeah. Tower. Some type of major change took place to remove you from the situation, from this person, as well as this person that's receiving these repeating cycles, this student for life. This person is coming in with the chariot, coming into each new life, and they're going to experience these major towers every time because this person is an agent. This is going to be continuous for this person because they keep coming in in this Five of Swords energy. This card just moved, this leader card, and I heard follow the leader. Okay, this person's leader is a devil. So they keep following the devil every 
time they enter into a new type, a uh, new, a new life. This person's soul is gone. <sighs> okay. Can we start over again? I want another chance. Someone is being invited to a lot of family functions. Somebody is in, uh, isolated from their family and you're being invited to a lot of events that you are declining. Okay, they're showing me this barren land. It's like you are not around a lot of people right now and your guys are saying, well done. This is not for everyone. This is not to say that everyone's family is uh, agents of the devil, but someone here, multiple people here, thank you, Holy Spirit, they are. Can we start over again? I want another chance. I feel like this is both this this person, this lover that tried to trap someone and did trap some, some people, as well as these parents. But can we start again? Ten of Wands fell right on top of the tower and this abundance energy. So they're saying, I'm clarifying, can we start over again? I want another chance. I want another chance. I'm heavily burdened, Ten of Wands, because I don't have access to your abundance. I don't have access to you. The abundance is on the inside of you. I need you. I need to start over with you. This, it also fell on top of the chariot in the tower. I need you to come back to me so that I can bring in this tower and this burden for you and take your abundance. No, ma'am, no, sir. So these people are heavily burdened without your energy. Look at this. Knight of Swords wanting to take action against you. And it seems like a time issue as well. Someone could be cloaking themselves in the energy of a King of Cups, loving, kind, nurturing. I said they showed me the Eight of Swords, this entrapment issue, parent trap. This is the energy. But you are protected. What is your sisters and brothers are not who you think they are? Okay, this flip on the side. Okay, so this is the energy of some of these are not, some some are not in this energy of this agent, devil agent. Some are, okay. Some of these people are waiting for you to come back to reattach themselves to you. But some of these people are not, uh, let me see here. There's someone here. Somebody here is a double agent. Somebody has a sibling or a family member that is also aware. Someone we saw, soul tribe, soul family. Someone here. I heard inside man. What am I picking up on with this? waiting for something to happen so with this being on the side it's like half of these people are waiting to reattach themselves to you to do something to you and and somebody else is waiting for you to come back to inform you about an emperor or the, the narc energy standing firm here what am i picking up on with the three of wands yeah, this person has been studying. This person has seen something. You see this five of swords creeping out here. This person and your family, somebody here is working with you. Or somebody here is aware of what has been going on. But they can't, I guess they can't blow their cover. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, now they're showing me the chariot and the hermit. This person could be working with some type of law officials on your behalf. What's the hermit? 
the strength. Okay, this is like backing, I'm hearing, like protection, backing, strength, giving you strength in numbers, something like that. This person is on your side, okay? How will they know, Holy Spirit? Okay, I just saw the Eight of Wands, okay? You will know because this person, you've witnessed this person, Hermit to the Ten of Swords, you have witnessed whoever this person is being betrayed by the same person that has done this to you. That's how you will know who this helper is, hidden helper that's trying to bring victory to you. Okay, I heard bring justice. Okay, what's abundance in the reverse? Yeah, <laughs> five of pentacles. I can't make it up. They are in lack and they cannot access your funds. They're trying to put work in to get towards you, to come towards you. The wheel is here again. The karma is here. It's hitting them. They're going to stay in lack. What's move your body? Angels. Yeah. Angels want to be sure that you are moving away and offering love elsewhere, okay? Or accepting love elsewhere. Moving your body. What's I am not good enough for you? In the reverse yep lover can't make it up lovers in the reverse this is loved ones and lovers in the reverse that are dark dark intentions wish fulfillment this is what they want they're very selfish they want what you have what you bring what you offer they want you to share your cup with them what's 144k chosen This fell on top of leader. New direction. Look at this. I cannot make it up. The high priestess. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Ooh, this high priestess is here. Okay, whoever you are, whoever I'm picking up on. You trusted your intuition. You saw. You heard. You left the building. You went in a new direction. You made the right choice. You're chosen. You're definitely being divinely guided. Okay, this is your spirit. Look at this. Look at this. Powerful, powerful person, whoever I'm speaking to. Okay, your prayers are straight to the divine's ears, whoever I'm picking up on. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. Anything else for 144 chosen? Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Your guides are saying everything that these people have been projecting. I just said they showed me the Eight of Wands is hitting these people that are trying to attack you with an instance. We saw the Wheel of Fortune show up twice. I mean instant karma. Instant. For whoever you are. Yeah, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, energy. Loving, kind, angelic, I'm hearing. Okay? They're going to keep putting you in the boat and, and moving you away. Okay? These people are sending a lot of spell work. Tell me about this loved one's prayers. Pray. What do we need to know? Woo! When <laughs> you put it like that. Straight up to the sun guide. Okay? Straight up. Straight a straight shot to the divine. Powerful light. Oh my goodness. Sun child. Chosen, chosen. Okay. Archangel Michael. I split it right on the king of swords. You are working closely with Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is always with you and protecting you. We thank you, Archangel Michael. 
wow, the energy shift in here is crazy. Beautiful, but crazy. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit guides. Ascending masters, I am so grateful for your presence. Wow, I have to just <laughs> stop for a second. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> they love them some you, okay? Love them some you. This sun child, whoever you are. Okay, this is definitely not for everyone, okay? I heard tell them, okay, <laughs> page one slid out and they went back. Tell them, yes, they love you, okay? You are the sun, you are the light. You have a beautiful and powerful energy, and that's why these folks are going nuts, okay? But look, the angels are showing up. I just showed you the king of swords. This is represented by angels right now is what they're telling me. Look, see this person sitting in the clouds like waiting for somebody to come towards you protect it protect it know this okay wow what's leader holy spirit knight of pentacles okay you're somebody that is hard working successful diligent There's something else here. What else for the Knight of Pentacles? It's been a long time. Okay. Somebody here has been, Page of Swords in the reverse. Somebody here has been dealing with this. This is about like somebody that's been in a situation with parents, with their own parents for a very long time. This fell right on top of this lovers in reverse with parents that really truly were not who they were supposed to be in this person's life. The Knight of Pentacles also talks about something that goes on for a very long time, okay? And we're clarifying leader. The leaders, the people that were supposed to be loving and guiding you, whoever I'm picking up on, since you were a child, since you were born, these people for a very long time were just trying to siphon your energy, this light, the abundance that you hold, depleting you, emptying all your cups, keeping you in some type of trapped energy, okay? Rapunzel type energy. This is crazy, Page of Swords. I feel like, the, and this fell over here. I feel like with the parent trap, you could have been, you could have been advised not to, to engage with people. They could have tried to trap you, isolate you. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. They do not want it out. This just flipped over, okay? They could have told you a lot of lies and really had a keen eye on you at all times to keep you from getting the guidance from other leaders that you could have trusted. This is all clarifying leader. But they 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 love bombed and gaslit you with the page of cups. But all of this was a part of God's divine order and plan. I'm hearing that clearly. You have learned Knight of Pentacles energy so much. You are also a student of life for life, okay? Tell them. <laughs> yes, this sent you on your, your voyage of self-discovery to learn why is it divine? Why is it Holy Spirit? Why is it God that I have been enduring for so long knight of pentacles energy why have the people that are supposed to love me depleted me why i'm a loving and kind person king of cups energy what is this what am i supposed to learn and the divine told you this all of this stress and anxiety that you are going through or have went through has prepared you to be the abundance, to extract the abundance, to acknowledge the abundance and realize who you were. 
what you held inside of you. Why is it that people wanted to hold on so tightly to you, keep you restricted, keep you confused, lie to you, keep you trapped, trap you by having a baby with you only to restrict you so that they can have access and keep feeding off of your energy, siphoning off of your energy, manifesting off of your energy, okay? Only then will you understand, after you have been through all of this, how very valuable and powerful you are. You are the Ace of Cups. You are the Temperance. You are the Sun. Whew. Wow. Anything else we need to? Cultivating Prosperity. Yeah, this is you. This is like you and this childlike energy getting all kinds of verbal, emotional abuse, dealing with that, enduring Knight of Pentacles energy for a long time. You were really, truly offering love, a very innocent love, okay, from childhood on up. You went into any relationships that you had offering love. And in this very beautiful but shielded energy of, oh, wow, a bunch of butterflies just passed by the window. That, oh, my goodness. Speak, Holy Spirit. Wow. Okay, that haven't, hasn't happened before. Not that many butterflies at one time. Okay. The beautiful stages of your transformation. That's what I just heard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In stages from the time you were a small child, as you gradually got older, dealing with this, looking around like, what is this? Why do people keep hurting me? Why do I feel like I'm drained and people are taking from me? Okay, all of this was a part of the cultivation process. I'm clarifying cultivating prosperity. The divine just showed the ace of cups. Okay, all of this. They allowed you to sit in that to really see who you were. These people gaslight you and made you think your cup was full of fish. When you are the ace of cups. <laughs> you are the world, okay? You are so protected. What else with cultivating prosperity, Holy Spirit? You are the high priest. I can't make this up. Woo! I'm telling you, the queen of cups. I just said queen of cups, king of cups, energy. Broken hearted. You've been through the ringer. The ringer with people that were supposed to love you. Parents in relationships that try to trap and block you okay and still I rise I'm hearing thank you Holy Spirit what's the final outcome here people from your past hidden enemies hidden enemies What's the moon? Here you are, nine of pentacles. Out here talking to your spirit guys, your spirit animals. These people wanted to hold you back from your destined path with a fortune and extract all of these pentacles. You see how many pentacles are out here? This abundance on the inside of you. They never wanted you to know that. They never wanted you to go after your destined path. How can they benefit if you are out here doing what God wants you to do and not stuck under their thumb? They wanted to keep you bound, trapped, stuck. But no, says the Most High God. Karma, karma, karma. For the Seven of Swords, Decepticons, that try to destroy your world and keep you in this victimized, abused, broken mentality. 
it shall not prevail. You fools. Okay? Says the divine. This is what they're going to be in. Very discontent. Very sad because the divine is not going to allow these people access to you. Even if you have a child with this person. This person will not have access to you. You are protected. Your children are protected. If you are pregnant now, your child will be protected. Claim it. Affirm it. Command it. So shall it be. <laughs> that says split it. Victory and success. Okay. Let's get some advice. Look, successful funding in the reverse. No access. The divine's not giving these people any access to you. And if you are in a situation where you're still closely connected, you are being guided to connect with your spirit guides. Okay? If you are this high priestess I'm picking up on, you already know. Or high priest, you already know. You're doing, you're already doing what this is. But if you are not and you are feeling as though you're trapped, first of all, cleanse your energy and start connecting. Release resentments. Okay, don't harbor any ill intention or any ill feelings towards these people. I know that's easier said than done. That is a part of the healing process. Okay, especially when it comes to parents. Somebody here is being guided to journal. Okay. Somebody, I'm just hearing separate the action from the person. Okay. This is energy. This is entities. This is not the person. Okay. It's the energy. That does not mean kumbaya, hang out with them and have potlucks, okay? It just means understand that these people were housing very dark energies. What's the message for our loved one, Holy Spirit? Savings, okay? Number one, you are always going to be saved by the divine. You are a chosen one. God is protecting you. Look at this little angel. Okay? Since you were a child, okay? God has always been protecting you. God has allowed you to experience these things to mold you into this beautiful person that you are today. It says, as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds, okay? And I'm reading funds in the sense of more than just monetary, okay? This is about self-care and prioritization of saving yourself, of saving your energy, of being aware of your saving yourself from certain environments dealing with certain people okay this is more than just the money but they're also wanting you to pay attention to your finances okay the rest of the card says this is a part of your self-care and path okay <laughs> speak holy spirit to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose okay so this is not only about money this is about you using your intuition to close yourself off from any energies or entities that are here to siphon from you or to um, cause chaos in your life, okay? One more, please, Holy Spirit. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Okay. It says the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels okay y'all see hear me always talking about cleansing your energy protecting your energy that's no joke especially when you're trying to manifest something because if you are not in a high energy and you are a powerful manifester those things whatever those things are those thoughts 
those things you're thinking about, those uh, projections that those darker energies are sending to you, if they're effective, you will manifest that. So that's why it's important to keep your energy clear. It says, the key to manifesting quickly is to have high energy, very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. So exercising is also another way to change and shift the energy. So that's for all of us, I believe. And one, okay. They want one of these. One step at a time. They're guiding me to read this. I see the mountain ahead and dedicate myself to taking one small step at a time. I make progress by staying focused on the present moment, the current task. Thus, I regain my ease of living. Okay. For some of you here, this is not a, okay, I'm, I'm going to just do it type of situation. This is talking about your parents, okay? So this is tough. And this is also talking about people that you have connected with and potentially have children with or someone that's trying to trap you in a situation. So what they're saying is take it one day, one step at a time. Um, understand that this is a there's a lot of emotions attached to this situation especially when it comes to the parents um, it did not happen overnight so the healing process won't happen overnight either just make a conscious effort to do one thing a day to help you heal your heart your mind and your spirit um, exercising like they said getting a hobby something that you like to do to keep your vibration high Journaling is very helpful to just release your emotions. If there's any anger that you are feeling that you are suppressing, they are guiding you to release that um, either through literally screaming. Some people literally need to scream. Some people need to purge a lot of tears and just cry. And I say journaling or writing a letter to whoever or whatever it is that's hurting you expressively like you know not holding anything back nothing formal just saying exactly how you feel and burning that letter and as you burn that letter take deep breaths in and out and release it watch it leaving your mind body and spirit and cut cords with that okay meditation and prayer is also always very helpful okay so just one day at a time even if you want to just get up every day and say you know say a prayer for God to help you release the emotions every day. That's doing something towards it. You don't have to. This is not a race. You're not in competition with anybody. You're not in competition uh, in a rush or a race to do anything. Just take your time and heal. And just stay connected with your spirit guides and the divine. They want you to come out of this eight of swords for whoever I'm picking up on right now. A new opening. Okay. Renewing your life. When one door closes, I am confident another will open and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life's bring, life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunity and learning that pre, it presents to me. Serenity comes from within. So that is a beautiful way to close the read. I love you, family. I really hope that this message has helped you. Okay, fear not for the divine is with you, protecting you and guiding you. Um, again, they wanted me to remind you all to keep your energy cleansed. If you are in need of a meditation, check out the Lightworks goodie bag. There may be something there that works for you, but use your own discernment. These are just suggestions that I do trust, but you have to use your own discernment in deciding what you want to use. I have no uh, real ties to them other than these are meditations that I've used before and they work. However, they vary in frequency, so there may be some that are more intense than others. So just do what feels right for you. If you are in need of a personal reading or if you feel inclined to donate, my uh, information is in the description box and you are all greatly appreciated and loved. 
have a beautiful day. I'll show you.